97.1, The Fan. We're not shaking to the point where we, we, we lost our confidence or anything like that. Um, we're still, we still feel like we're a heck of a team and we can compete with anyone. Uh, so, I mean, just getting back into our groove and our rhythm on both sides of the ball and where it's, uh, it's flowing on offense and maybe it's not going on defense and being able to string both sides of the ball together. You want guys to, to refocus in terms of, of how we have to play uh, better, but UConn's a completely different opponent than what we, we just went against. Um, you know, I, 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 my biggest thing is you don't want a game like that to define who you are, and, and you have to be able to change uh, the outcome you know, from, from all the little things that we probably didn't do as well as we needed to do. It's not like a... Um... Uh, tragic event has happened. I mean, our season is not over. Um, it's the tenth game of the season, uh, but yes, we have we have come together as a team. And uh, me, just clear clear some air, uh, make sure everyone's on the same page. Try to try to get everyone on the same page, and uh, hopefully, our our conversations will uh, be able to pay off when, with a victory. We didn't have the best practice uh, earlier in the day yesterday. Um, we, we met as a group, got together, uh, took a couple, a couple hours off, came back, got practice, uh, going again, uh, later in the night and, uh, practice was a lot, a lot better. There was a lot more energy and chatter throughout the gym. Um, so, I mean, just having, just having those intangibles in practice of guys dapping each other up or just encouraging one another is, is huge for the morale and confidence of everyone. For Mark, as a senior, to maybe do something like that, what does that say about where he is at this point in the season? I mean, I know it seems like maybe Mark kind of goes back and forth sometimes, but yeah. it seems like that would be a sign of something. Yeah, I, I'll say this. I, I love where Mark Loving's mind is right now. I, I, and I jokingly, but I, he knows I'm serious, keep the light on because I think the light is, is flipped on in, in his mind in, in terms of uh, – how he's playing and what he has to do to help this basketball team. And, and you know, I, I think his emotions are, are all geared in the right position. I think he's assumed uh, more of a of take command type of attitude with this team, which is something that uh, I'm very happy to see. I, and, and I say that because I like the direction that he's, he's taking the team. This game was already big enough, uh, seeing how we lost last year um, to UConn. But, um, Seeing that we took a uh, loss before uh, we went into this game, um, we just don't want to have reoccurring events that we had last season, uh, stringing multiple um, losses together. Long, athletic, talented. Um, you know, it seems like they're, they they play with a great edge, and um, uh, you know, it, it they're a little bit like us when when they get rolling, they're. They're, they're really, really good. I mean, even some of those games in Hawaii where they got down, I mean, the, the comebacks they made were, were tremendous. So, um, you know, we've got to do a great job of, of defending all their actions and then know that when the shot goes up, the battle just started because they do a great job of offensive rebounding. Your number one source for sports, 97.1. The Fan. Fan.